proton pump inhibitors have been given pretty much of a bad time by the FDA. They were said to be associated with resistance to clopidogrel, though no clinical study has shown that it makes any difference in outcomes. They also can cause low magnesium levels, resulting in a greater risk of leg cramps, arrhythmias, and seizures. Additionally, there are indications that they can be associated with bone fractures from chronic use and even birth defects if used during pregnancy. Regardless, we in cardiology use a lot of PPIs in treating patients on antiplatelet agents to minimize bleeding risk. Now the FDA is reviewing the possible risk of C. difficile-associated diarrhea in uses of another class of acid-suppressing drugs, the H2 receptor blockers. That includes popular brands such as Nexium, Prolisec, and Prevacid. The warning comes after a review of data of the agency's adverse event reporting system and the medical literature suggesting such a link. A meta-analysis of studies in the medical literature reported at the 2010 meeting of the American College of Gastroenterology yielded the same finding. Many of the adverse event reports involve patients who were elderly, had underlying medical conditions, or were taking broad-spectrum antibiotics. All of those factors could, of course, have contributed to the risk of C. difficile-associated diarrhea, but keep in mind that the use of PPIs could not be excluded. Now, I'm not sure how sound this warning is, but the take-home message is obvious. Healthcare providers should consider a diagnosis of C. difficile-associated diarrhea if patients taking PPIs develop diarrhea that is not improving. It also makes sense, as with any other drug, that patients should take the lowest dose of PPIs for the shortest time possible to improve the condition being treated. We will hear more of this, I'm sure. But in the interim, be wary of PPIs, especially in older patients on antibiotics. I'm Peter Block, and this is a Cardiosource Art Minute.